Hi, I'm John Michaelides, System Consultant from Really UK. And I'd like to welcome you to the second in a series of videos where we're looking at the Bolero system. Now, if it's a completely new product to you, you might want to check out our first video where we just covered some key concepts. But if you're familiar with the basics, then let's proceed and take a look at the different hardware elements that make up the system, starting with the belt pack. So the first thing you'll notice when you pick up the unit is the ergonomic and rugged design born out of years of rental experience. Now the pack is rubberized, it has Gorilla Glass and it's IP65 rated, meaning the case is dust tight and also protected against low pressure water. The battery life is typically around 17 hours, so they're more than enough for a long day's work. To use the unit, there are six main keys, four on the face and two on the sides. There's also a menu button. A short press of this allows you to pick individual keys to adjust their volume. A medium length press allows you to enter a quick menu which can be configured per pack. And a long press enters the full menu. There are two programmable rotaries for volume adjustment and menu navigation and a reply key. On the face of the pack is a sunlight readable TFT display showing the names of who you have comms with, volume levels for the different keys, and the status of each call. Due to the built-in speaker and microphone, the belt pack can be used in three ways, as a traditional belt pack with a headset, as a six key desktop panel, or as a walkie talkie. Some other features of the belt pack are the 3.5 mm line in, which offers full audio bandwidth monitoring locally, a USB-C socket for power or charging, and Bluetooth functionality, allowing you to pair the unit with a headset or a phone, allowing you to take calls through the belt pack which can also be shared to the net. Finally, on the front of the unit, we have the NFC point, allowing easy registration to a network, either by swiping the belt pack on an antenna or another registered belt pack. And last but not least, on the rear, we have the clip and bottle opener. As with the belt pack, the design of the antenna is intentionally rugged with IP53 rated ceiling, meaning there's still protection against dust and water ingress. There are threads on the base of the unit to mount it to mic stands and also a Manfrotto super clamp adapter. In terms of connections, there are three Ethernet sockets. An AES67 port for connection to your AES67 network and for configuration, so you'd use this in the integrated with artist mode or standalone with AES67. And adjacent to that, there are two link ports for the plug and play connection in the standalone link mode. The antenna can be powered by a PoE Plus, but there's also an XLR power socket for a local power feed. On the front of the unit is an e-ink display showing important information, such as the antenna name, the network it's attached to, and its IP address. You can also see currently installed licenses, which firmware version it is on, the antenna's ID, which registration modes are active, the network topology, and the amount of antennas online. There's also an LED display showing the radio status of the device, an NSC point, and five buttons for menu navigation, allowing you to build a basic network even without a PC. The final piece of the puzzle is the NSA, which is really handy in the standalone use cases. The NSA is a simple plug and play device, again managed via the web GUI, providing connectivity for six analog four wires and three GPIOs. It's rack mountable, or it can be used as a throw down box with rugged corner protection. On the rear of the unit is an integrated two port ethernet switch, allowing you to cascade two units together or connect to PC for configuration. Power is via IAC cable or PoE. The NSA is connected to the Bolero network either by connecting directly to the AS67 port of an antenna with a maximum of two NSAs connected per antenna or by connecting to a switch in AS67 mode. A maximum of 10 NSAs are allowed per net, giving you 64 wires and 30 GPIOs. Now that just about wraps it up for this look at the hardware elements that make up a system. Hope you join me next time where I'll be looking at the web user interface and diving deeper into the configuration options.